Hello everybody, this is Baron of Baron. It's going to be another video guide for the mobile game Whiteout Survival. Uh, just want to give a quick uh, heads up here. Uh, I do apologize if my voice uh, is a little off to, today. Uh, the air where I'm at is just really dry. And uh, I do want to make note though, if you are a new player, uh, I'm going to try to speed through this as fast as I can. But I do recommend that you watch this video all the way through. Uh, there's a lot of good tips in here. Uh, even if you might not really sh be sure there is, there is. Uh, if you are an experienced player and you watch this video, I do appreciate all your guys' support. Uh, if you find any tips that you think that you, know, you wanna throw in on here for the new players, for this game uh please post those in the comments below let's get all the new players in this game some uh, good tips on getting uh, to be able to to grow in this game I, I think it's safe to say if you're a really experienced player like i am you get kind of bored playing these games with uh players that just don't know the the basic good fundamentals in this game so any type of time that you could take to pick, make some posts and give some good tips uh to help these new players that are watching this video would be really appreciated I, I, you know once again uh if you do like my content please make sure you like and subscribe even hit the bell notification because this is just only a little bit of what i can offer people in this game especially the newer players that's why i'm focusing right now on not like power leveling i'm just wanting to teach to new people uh, there's going to be a lot of new people here soon in this game uh, i think the game's going to get bigger as as it goes so this is very important for everyone who's watching this to watch this video i don't stress that sometimes most of the time in my videos but i highly recommend that you try to watch this one all the way through i'm going to try to speed up as much as i can protecting your troops this is very fundamental information that you need to understand uh, i'll show you the best strategy farming and be offline long hours uh, and and tips on kill events at the end of the second part of this video so you could just basically just screenshot all this and then go to that part i might put a time stamp in the pinned comments below i also put links to their discord their facebook and other helpful information i feel like is you know helpful for newer players will be in the pinned comment in this video excuse me so just try to check out that when you have time uh, but you can just basically pause this read this when you want or screenshot it as i go along or you can listen to me and i'll explain a little bit more about some of the things i point out and then uh, i'll put a time stamp for the next part of this video and you can just watch that okay so understanding why you would be attacked if you have a lot of unprotected resources uh, you keep your resources under your storehouse capacity keep your storehouse at max level very important i will have a picture here now I'll explain a little bit about the storehouse very important to keep your resources under that if at all possible if you can because when people scout or they randomly hit people uh they're gonna see those in the scout reports that you have a lot of resources and you're gonna be a target uh, send troops to farm lowest resource amounts you have this is a good tip coal and iron this will keep you from having huge amounts of meat and wood so after you do the next part here farm only 50,000 wood and meat to do your daily so if you don't if you have a bunch of wood and meat just farm what you need to do the dailies for the day and then focus on your uh, on your uh uh, coal and iron i do recommend getting your iron building as max as, as you can because that's going to be you're going to find in the early in the game especially you're going to find you're always out of iron so it's very helpful just to, to mine for coal and iron so you don't build up too much meat and wood and become a target so i wanted to throw that out there save all your resource items in your backpack till you need them i recommend never using your resource items until you really need it uh, for speed up events or other types of event power events uh, if you get attacked you lose troops or something sometimes i mean we all make mistakes i think it's safe to say everyone has in this game uh, uh you're gonna get hit sometime you're gonna be out in ki on a kill event or something you're gonna need more resources those extra resources is when you need to use them then so i wanted to throw that out there save all your resources yep you have a lot of high tier troops in your base during kill events higher tier troops are worth more kill points so keep that in mind if you get a lot of troops in your base and they're high tier i mean you 
you're going to be a, a perfect target for an experienced player when they scout you. Always protect your best troops. Very important. That's why I'm making this video. To teach newer players, you have to protect your best troops at all times. You don't want to lose them. Only keep 10,000 of your highest tier troops in your base for auto rallies outside kill events. That's a very good tip. I'll go in that a little bit more detail in the next part of this video. The rest sent out to the Alliance headquarters, the banners, shielded allies even. Even camp on Alliance, Terry, because even if you throw a camp out, you know, uh, it's not a kill event. Uh, people aren't going to hit those camps if they're just looking for resources. They're just going to hit your base. So the, a lot of people, for the most part, aren't intentionally trying to hurt players. Uh, resources, if you... Also send reinforcements to your strongest allies, and if they are attacked, you have less troops wounded, plus you will help them defend, important to help defend your strongest allies. I can't en emphasize this enough. Uh, if you have strong players in your alliance, you have to help them at all times, even at all costs, I would say in my opinion. Uh, let them get into the middle of your hives so that they're more protected, so if they are people come and want to attack some of your players, if they want to take down your alliance, they're going to go after your biggest players, so you have to really re enforce them even if you know you're going to lose and you're going to get winded troops or whatnot you got to keep filling up their uh their buildings uh their reinforcements so that they, they don't lose everything because if you if they if your big players fall uh it's going to really weaken your alliance and most likely they're going to leave your alliance they don't see anyone really helping them defend that they get back online so it's very important only the amount of troops you have in an affirming capacity in your base very important to leave the amount of troops in your base uh that you you know you can get protected and only have to be wounded uh, this is why a thousand auto join configuration in the highest tier is best uh, i'll try to speed this up never farm resources do it during kill events, it's very important. Don't be out on the map on tiles when the kill event two days is running. Uh, you're just getting, might as well put a target on your back. Uh, the experienced players, they're going to just see you out there and they're going to hit you. All right. Bonus tip. Here's a good one. You can take host fake 60 minute rallies during attacks on your hive okay so if you get some big players to support near you, your hive and they start attacking your your, your your allies and whatnot uh maybe you're shielded and maybe you're not and you get your troops out bring back a little bit of your troops and set them back out on a rally for 60 minutes and hopefully after that minute them auto join hopefully your allies some of them will have auto join activated and they'll be able to actually send some of their troops while they're offline into your rally for 60 Minutes. All troops inside your rally will be totally safe during that time you have it out. So this could potentially save a, a, a march of every one of your allies that joins. So if you have a 10-man uh, march rally, uh, if you're, you can basically, theoretically, if possible, you could save at least nine of your allies uh, one of their marches. Very good tip. This could help save you offline allies, troops after one minute. I already said, try to never lead troops in your base over infirmary capacity, especially during kill events. If you have a 39,000 uh, uh, infirmary capacity, keep it under that amount at all times, especially during kill events. Best option is to use shields during kill events if you need, if you're new to these types of games. That is why I recommend saving your diamonds first few months to more experience in the game. Once again, I do hear a lot of people say that new players that needed to just go spend uh, and gamble on the lucky wheel. In my opinion, if you're new to these games, the best advice anyone could ever give you is to save your gems. Don't use them hardly at all and only use them during kill events if you feel like you absolutely need to. And use those shields because that's what they make shields for to protect the free players when they absolutely need them. Even the big players, there's nothing wrong with throwing a shield up. Even the big players use shields. So I don't want anyone thinking that, that that's a, you know, that's a cop-out. Best option is to use, well, like I said, shields cost 4,800 diamonds. That's a lot in these games for this type of game. So you want to, I do have a strategy in another video I'm going to put in the pinned comments for it. So you kill it, you vent, uh, playlist tips. Uh, check that out. There's a video called Bubble Bear. It's actually my own creation of into this game, how to implement shields and only sa and save half the diamonds you need the shield for both days. Highly recommend that video. Try to leave troops. Okay. Kill events start after 30 days of new state after Hall of Chiefs events. It's important to understand that the Hall of Chiefs events uh, after 30 days of a new server uh, kill events will start rolling out and they'll be right after the Hall of Chiefs event and it's going to be at that, at that weekend maybe on a Thursday or Friday of that weekend of that event. So if you see the Hall of Chiefs which is a five days event expect 
after 30 days of your server being new, uh, you're going to have those events start coming. So I want to give everyone a heads up on that. Okay, this is a picture. I'm going to try to keep this a little bit shorter. Uh, basically, you know, you can see here you got meat 7.5, wood 7.5, coal 1.5, iron 375,000. What that means, that's protected resources. Anything under that in your base should be safe. I don't know. I've heard some things that people have seen that they've lost resources under this. I don't know if there's a bug in the game, but if you do have issues with that, please post in the comments. I want to know this stuff. But theoretically, you should be safe if you keep. That's why I recommend to, to try to only farm your coal and iron because you're going to be, be out of those more. You don't want to keep building up too much more meat and wood than you absolutely need. Maybe in the longer in the, you're in the game, the higher level your upgrades are going to be, you're going to need more. But in the beginning of the game, you're going to be a target if you keep over these limits. So keep that in mind. Okay, I'm going to go over a little bit here. Um, I, you know, I've discussed a lot of, you can screenshot this, I'm going to try to keep this shorter than I want. Um, uh, here's some uh, pinned comments, these are what's in my pinned comments, I'm just going to walk you through. Save formations, it's going to tell you everything you need to know how to save, what, what formations. If you still don't know, I do have uh, an auto join guide underneath that, there's some other videos in the playlist somewhere that goes over all the events, like uh, the Gino Revenge event, I recommend w watching that, if you're still kind of curious, the best setups and formations for things. Uh, kill event tips there's a lot of stuff and there's like there's three videos in there i highly recommend you watch all those when you have time it's right before the kill event especially it's going to save you i'm telling you top three packs it's probably going to be the best video that you've ever going to see in this game on on the budget the best budget packs to buy if you're just a low spender even if you're a free player and you're curious about spending a little bit of money i, I recommend watching that video that, that will be in the pinned comments okay make sure you watch the bubble bear i recommend all this stuff okay now i'm going to go into the game I'm, I'm i'm taking longer than i should have guys uh i'm gonna go into the game and i'm gonna show you how to how to best uh, uh protect yourself okay this is the last part uh if you did check the the, the time stamp in the pinned comment this is the part that you really really need to watch uh, i do recommend watching it all though i'm gonna try to give this the best advice as i can uh go to the world um, you want to, you know, do all your farming. I mean, do all that things. Your intel. Make sure you get, I got to do. All, make sure you do all that. Any type of rallying or something you're gonna do when you're online. And then once you're done with that, what you can do at that point is you can go like I, I got a banner over here. I'm just gonna send my. Well, I got some troops returning. Might have to pause on that. But what I can do is I'm gonna hit garrison. And I'm gonna hit dispatch troops, and I have this this explanation on the saved configuration video that's in the link comments, uh, the pinned comment down below. I recommend watching it because you understand what, what I'm going to do here. Uh, I'm going to go with the first one. This is going to be your rally uh, leader, what you send out for rallies or attack and tell missions, however you want to set that up. And then the second one's going to be what you use to join uh, rallies and, and uh, auto join. Uh, outside of kill events, it's perfectly fine to have this uh, thousand tr uh, 10 10,000 troops in your base at, at any time, uh, but I do recommend during the kill event not to have any troops in your base. That means you have to disable. I hate to say this unless you do Gina for some odd own reason people are doing that. Uh, I really recommend not to do auto rallies during the kill event. Uh, don't keep troops in your base because you're just going to encourage players to come to your hive and, and farm everyone in your hive. So it's important to keep your troops outside of your base at all times during kill events. Uh, if there's a big experienced player right now or you want to ask someone else, I mean, any experienced player is going to tell you that's probably the best policy. So don't have any troops in in your base during a kill event, uh, disable the auto joins. Don't don't even do that. You know, I hate to tell people not to really play the game as much and be as active, but if you don't shield, uh, you're not going to be able to do too much during the kill event. So, like, good news is it's only two days out of every fourteen, so it's not like you know you're going to sacrifice too much. So just use your troops what you can to do your intel's and whatnot. A rally with other people that are online, or hopefully nobody's got an auto join, but they do. Maybe you might want to message them, say, "Hey man, you know, turn off your auto join." Keep your troops out you know yeah you know, give people some help uh even have them have, watch this video okay i know it's long but it, it's going to help people i'm telling you all right so basically and this is going to be my auto config outside of the kill event so i'm going to just deploy this i got a few seconds left for that last rally it's perfect timing okay so i got my auto auto join 
army out okay at this point i can just go to the map and go to my resources if i got a bunch of meat and wood you know and i don't i don't want to farm that you know i already did my dailies so just go for the iron go for the coal send all your troops out once you once they're out marching just go back to your garrison troop hit recall they'll go back to your base and you can log out at this time and you'll have your auto join uh, army you know all set up and con that configuration troops will go back to your base and then you'll be able to do auto join rallies when you're offline it's a great tip here i really hope people if you have any questions on this always post comments in my videos and i will try to help you out with this as much as possible this could go over some people's heads all right during kill events this is the most important one okay if you don't want to watch anything focus on this advice because this is the best okay whatever you use for like your if you're going to do rally lead and rallies or you do intel missions during the two days of the kill event when you're online or whatnot uh the best thing is to do is to go here go to the garrison and hit dispatch troops and i'm going to send my 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 formation one and that's not the auto join one because you don't want to really in my opinion run auto joins during the kill event uh you could if you don't believe me you don't trust what i say you could ask someone else but an experienced player is going to tell you probably the same thing so i'm going to go with the, my rally leader uh march the you know, first save slot there i'm going to hit deploy that's going to let me keep what i want to do when i get back online All right. the rest of the ones i do want to say that you're going to go and send them to your hq hit the dispatch and then if i get any left i don't think i do yet i'm not really power level one guys i'm trying to teach people uh dispatch troops oh nope, i need more training so that's all i got okay if you have any questions you think that you know you might have more troops in your base you're not sure you can always click on the very top left avatar go down to your troops in the bottom and you're going to see right now total troops on the very top left a zero out of 66,377. I had no troops in my base. If I get attacked, I'll, I'll, I won't lose a single troop. Uh, March Q2 to 4. I got two marches out. Injured compassion. It's very important. Always, guys, I'm, I can't stress this enough. Uh, go on the very top left, your avatar. Always check your troops information on the bottom there and you're going to see that injured okay that means you get 29,000 troops you can have in your base at any time and be protected if you get attacked they, they will only get wounded they won't die that's why i always recommend only use a 10,000 auto join march in my opinion and keep that in your base because it's well over your your wounded capacity so it's going to be a great help you can also click in the inner city this is going to tell you what you have in your inner city as you can see i got zero troops i'm totally safe right now only thing that can happen is if i have extra resources i'm gonna lose them but i got a new splash for everyone still watching it's a lot easier to repair and rebuild your resources than it is they have to train a whole bunch of troops so just wanted to throw that out there outer city uh, this is going to be what you have out in your marches it's a great way they do a good job i think in this game and how they got this set up uh, if you know how to play these games it's easy to see this stuff another tip i want to point out is if you go to your power level i got four million and two hundred thirty five thousand six hundred twelve you click that it's going to give you a lot of basic stuff basic overview battle results your military this is going to show you what your basic deployment capacity so if you want to know how much troops you can keep in your base and send out on marches uh and to protect them outside of your base you can see here i got four marches i can send out and i can have like about, roughly about thirty-five thousand uh, uh deployment capacity per march i basically theoretically if i wanted to i could keep 150,000 troops in my base and send them all out on marches and protected areas shielded players headquarters banners and if, as long as they're not being I, i'll go over this this is the last part i'll go over uh as long as you know you're they're safe uh, you can theoretically keep all your troops 150 i can keep 150,000 troops safe at all times if they really wanted to do it that way and play it that way so i just want to throw that out there the one last thing i do want to emphasize about this so if you don't shield and keep your troops see i i still recommend using shields a lot of times if you especially if you're new to these games and the kill events because you can keep all your troops in your base as long as you use a one day shield every time at, during the, the start of the reset for those two days you'll never have to worry about any of your troops ever loot being lost because they'll be safe in your base at all times and with the shield as long as you get on every day at the same time put that shield up you're never going to have to worry about anything during any single kill event for the rest of that you play this game so i always recommend shields if you can but if you can't 
I would highly suggest that you just uh, avoid and be careful. Look for enemies. Like now, see where I'm at is we have an alliance family, okay, and we are a family to a bigger alliance, and we have they're right next door to us. For, so for the mo most part, unless somebody somehow manages to sneak in between us at some points and get to our territory, uh, nobody can attack my uh, alliance headquarters right now. Uh, or any of these banners over here like this banner only way they can attack this banner in my headquarters they have to build uh, a banner like right over here and has to be right in touching our territory then those troops and these banners would be un they wouldn't be safe at that point you could pull those troops out if you see that danger coming always be aware of your surroundings during the kill event uh, if that's going to happen you have a feeling you can always pull those out and put them in a farther banner way on the other side or something like over here and uh, you should be safe at that point even if they do that strategy anyway i hope this video helped and uh, I'm really hoping that by now, I think a lot of people are going to start to see what I'm able to do and what the best advice I can give to people. I'm here for everyone. And if you have any questions, make sure you post comments below and I will try to answer them as best as I can. Uh, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell notification for future videos. I try my best to make as much helpful con content as I can for people in this game because I do care about helping everyone in this community. Anyway, this is Baron of Baron. I'll talk to you guys later. I appreciate you guys watching.